Hey, buddy! Need a lift? And this? Yeah, unless you can pull a plane out of your pocket. Because <laughs> that'd be awesome. I really dig your getup, man. This very Matrix meets Matrix Reloaded. Do you ever see those movies? That's beautiful, man. So where are you headed? Chicago. <laughs> Chicago, the Windy City. It should be too far out of the way. We just program this into my GPS. Get this bloody thing to work. Yeah. Uh, according to this, it should be 2,000 miles. No, that can't be right. Let me just fix this. No, I do not want to go to Lake Okeechobee. You know what my mom always said? Only so many times a man can drive into a lake. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me five times, shame on the GPS. Awesome! I think I got it. So what part of Chicago are you going to? You're using that? Well, yeah. Don't use that. Why not? Just don't. Dude, I get everywhere with this thing. I'd be totally lost without it. It's bad enough you have to imprison yourself in this technological death trap. But now you sacrifice your own sense of direction, your intuition, your own means of travel is determined by wires and electric highways, circuits to destruction. You make no decisions for yourself. You hand over everything to these mechanical wonders and for all their digital prestigitation, you become no smarter for it. You enter this world empty, and you will leave this world empty. Dude, did I say something wrong, or...? What do you think of the 21st century, Mr...? Bill. Bill. What do you think of the 21st century, Bill? Well, it's alright. I mean, like, Gaga's a little weird and all, but I think it's pretty solid. You enjoy it? Yeah. Would you swear by it? Sure. Would you give up everything you own for it? That doesn't make much sense. Everything I own is in the 21st century, man. No. No, it isn't. There's one other thing that you own that the 21st century hasn't given you. And it can be taken away. Very, very easily. Do you want it taken away? Dude, what are you on? Because I totally want some.
sir. How are you today? Well, um... Can't talk now! I just want a free car! <laughs> Oh, hey, you're telling the shadows, right? Yeah. Always wondered what you look like, and then he backed away. So what kind of half-ass scheme do you think he has this time? I don't know, but I'm so excited! Is there like some sort of medicine you should be on? <laughs> Hello, fellow reviewers of BadGuyWithTheGlasses.com. How are you today? Okay, so you figured out there's no car. I would be angry too. But if I was to tell you the real reason that I brought you all out here, I'm afraid none of you would show. What are you talking about? The truth, my dear friends, is that I have something better than a car. Better be a boat. I'm talking about something that can get us riches beyond your wildest dreams. Something that can make every single person in this room a millionaire. Alrighty, where's that frick- Spoonie, so glad you can make it. Go join your team. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll make it pay. My friends, we are sitting on the opportunity of a lifetime. And all the answers are on this VHS. Who wants to play it? Me! I do! I do! I do! I'll do that for you, critic. Ah, oh, film friend, I see you've met Luke Mockery. He's an up-and-coming talent on the site, a real go-getter. Up-and-coming? Yes, I'm sort of like you, only fresh and new. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you can see, Luke has this one, so if you could get out of the way there. Yeah. Well, can I, um, make you some coffee, Mr. Kurtzik? Oh, sure, that'd be great, uh... Film brain. Film brain? Yeah, that, that'd be good. Oh boy, a movie! Well, already the credits are terrible. Don't review it! Ow! New information in the disappearance of 30-year-old game store clerk Chuck Jaffers from Gurney. Police are revealing a strange portrait of the man that witnesses described as emotionally troubled. He was emotionally troubled. According to friends and family, Jaffers was apparently an avid player of the counterculture role-playing game Dungeons and Dragons. However, in the days leading up to his disappearance, he was heard ranting about finding a magical gauntlet called Malachite's Hand. Police suspect that the game may have driven Jaffers to insanity and caused him to run mad into the street, not unlike the timeless tale of mazes and monsters. Oh, that is bullshit! The actual location of Jaffers still remains a mystery. Sad. Very, very sad. And now, on a lighter note, the president has been shot. Well? So what? The gauntlet. The magic gauntlet he was talking about. What about it? I've done some research on this gauntlet, and it turns out it really exists. Apparently there is some sort of ancient jewel that you place on the gauntlet that was rumored to make it indestructible. So you think that by finding it, we can take control of its magical powers? Pfft, hell no, there's no such thing as magic. But if we find this thing, it could be worth a fortune. 
people would pay through the nose to get a look at it. But what does it matter, even if it is worth a bundle? We have no idea where it is or how to find it. On the contrary. Oh. I found the map that Jeffers made. He knew where it was. He left clues. All you have to do is just play a stupid game he created. A game that will lead us directly to the gauntlet. But this is all written in rhymes and riddles. How are we supposed to figure it all out? What? How the hell did you get that? Just getting a head start? That's the catch. And you heard on the news, Jaffers was this gigantic geek. And apparently he rigged this as a role-playing game in order to find it. Everybody has to get dressed up and act like a fantasy character in order to figure out what these riddles mean. So you mean it's just a game? Well, really, the only rule is to figure out the riddles on the map. But you're more likely to figure it out if you're engulfed in some sort of fantasy character. So if you're totally in touch with wizards, dragons, and all that crap, the more likely you are to figure this out and find the treasure. So it's like LARPing. No, it's just a bunch of dorks dressing up and fighting for a fake reward. While well, we're a bunch of dorks dressing up and fighting for a real reward. Exactly! So what kind of characters do we dress up as? Anything, as long as it has something to do with a quest-related fantasy world. Now, the map says here that there are two paths to it, so if we split up into two teams, that'll increase our chances of finding it. And you honestly think this is gonna pay off? My friends, after all this is over, we will not only have a ton of money, but our names will also be placed in the Book of Destiny. Names will be remembered, quests will become legends, and legends will become legendary. We are standing on the threshold of greatness, of glory, and all we need to do is to take that first step. So what say you? My proud warriors of virtue. God damn it, it's like working with a bunch of kindergartners! Hey! If you don't go, you're all fired! Oh. 8 a.m. tomorrow, bring your costumes! Here you go, Mr. Critic. I got you your coffee. Get with the program, film brain. Luke already got me a latte. Just haven't been on your A-game, have you? Extra cream, extra sugar cream. <laughs> It's my tea from Captain Planet. Yeah, I know. But what are you doing here? I got the message about the car. But I didn't send you a message about the car. Huh, weird. So, I hear you're putting a team together for a quest. Can I come? Um, I'd like to, Monty. Really, I would. But, uh, I really need you here. Here? Yes, to protect the children and elderly. But there aren't any children and elderly here. That's what makes it so hard, Matias. That's what makes it so hard. You don't understand my blight. No, I don't understand your blight. I don't even know what blight means. So let's just say we're even and go along our merry ways, huh? But Critic, you don't have anyone to represent Heart on your team. Don't you think I know that, Mati? Don't you think I give anything to have you on board? Well, um... But I have chosen the light that I lead and you have chosen the light that you lead. I know it sounds complex, even confusing, but trust me when I say nothing will change that, Mati. Nothing will change that. Will you answer nothing's call? Is nothing something? It's everything. Wow. So help me help you help me. Let's make this happen, Mati. Yes. Tonight. Yes! Now get out there and show them what you're made of, you little Pop-Tart.
don't scare me like that. Hello, my name is not Joe. It is Inigo Montoya. You killed my brother. Father. Father, prepare to die. All right, very nice, Joe, but don't do that. We don't need to encourage every tights wearing idiot to sneak in there like that. Fire, you fool! Ah! I'm a servant of the secret fire. We go there on the flame of honor. Dark fire will not avail you. Flame of Odoon! Yeah, well, <laughs> not before you come in, Dumbledore. In fact, is anyone else already here? Yes. No, 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 no. All right, all right, get out of here! We prefer it if you call our names out first. Yeah, it's more dramatic that way. <sighs> all right, fine. Linkara! Some sort of Monty Python sketch? I, good sir, am King Arthur, as played by Sir Richard Harris. Actually, I don't think he was knighted. Kind of ironic. In the greatest movie ever made. Camelot. What's the elvish word for Pratt? Hey, 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 save it for Broadway! Alright, now where's the nostalgia chick? What'd she say? What? Read the damn subtitles. Oh. Calm. Ask me what is best in life. Okay, what is best in life? Crush the enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentation of that woman. Present comedy excluded. I like it. A Frenchman playing an Austrian. It'll confuse the enemy. Very nice. Uh, who else is there? Um. Sage! <laughs> Costume, then. What the? Phelous, is that you? No, it's the rock biter. You look like a steroid elephant turd. Well, my little friends think I look good, don't you? These are my little friends. They've come to help stop the nothing. Say hello to my little friends. Very nice. Anyway, I... I said say hello. Hello, Navid Objects. They'll be watching you. Mars Girl, where is Mars Girl? Ow! <laughs> Magic is in the air. Hey! You copycat! I was going to be Harry Potter. Says who? Says me. Yeah? Yeah. Usain! Hey, hey, hey! We got two more of the rings and possibly two Narnias! What? Well, you do kind of look like the older sister. No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we can have two Harry Potters! But he shouldn't even qualify! I'm authentic British! Yeah, well, I'm Canadian! That's as British as being Turkish, you tit! What are you talking about? It's about you twat! Stop it! Stop it! As far as I'm concerned, you both look equally stupid! But I look more stupid, right? Oh yeah! Right, now we're cinema snob! Too bad the Havitos don't know you like I do, critic. Oh, come on! Indiana Jones? That isn't fantasy! It's quest based, so it counts. Anyway, he survived a nuclear explosion in a refrigerator. If that's not fantasy, then I don't know what is. <sighs> Alright, fine. Where's Obscurus Lupa? Oh, someday my prince will come! You people, it's fantasy based, not fairy tales! Oh, yeah, I forgot. Fairy tales are so based in reality. I mean, reality. 
It's all about giving in to the dreams of your imagination. Holy fuck, what is that? I am Peter Pan, the literate scallion who will never grow up. Well, I can clearly see that. Good, good, I can use every ounce of your rage. Oh my god, you're Jeremy Irons from Dungeons and Dragons? Good, does that upset you? I can use every ounce of your anger. I don't want to ride with him. Hey guys, check me out. Tis I, the Dread Pirate Roberts. From the Princess Bride. It's Todd. This. Oh, hey, Tom! You're... I'm Willow. Of course! Okay, well, there's only one person missing. Where's Juario? Apologies. I was busy doing my dance magic dance. Oh, my God. It's David Bowie from Labyrinth. Does that mean he's got the... Ah! I'd like to get to know you better. Oh, most certainly. Here, would you like to hold my ball? Yes. Ladies! Alright, you all look epically ridiculous. Now this is the kind of team that's gonna get us riches. Hooray! Okay, everybody, let's get started. According to this map, this is the only point that's identified as the starting point of the game, right in this field. By God, it's a beautiful, desolate wasteland, isn't it? Uh, not really. There are houses around us. Even some cars over there. Good job, hippies! Well, it doesn't matter. This is the starting point. It's a great place to start. Linkara, where's your beard? I ran out of Sharpie! Well, it doesn't matter. According to this map, there's two paths to get there, so I'm gonna split you up into two teams. Uh, let's call this side Team 1 and this side Team 2. But... we wanna go with him! Get over there! <laughs> now, I made a Xerox copy of the map for myself. I still ripped it up, so it looks all cool. And so, the original map I am giving to you guys. Thank you, Master Critic. May the light of an endil shine ever upon you. Shut up. All right, people, we are on the verge of a great adventure. If we pull this off, our names will be placed in the history books for all time to come. Hunt! Critic, I thought I could be of some help. Um... Mati, it's not that we don't want to use you because your powers are totally and completely useless. It's not. <laughs> it's just that... There's so much more that can be done here. Like what? Um... Uh... Oh, my contact lens fell out. Her contact lens, Mati. She lost her contact lens. Oh, geez, that's terrible. Yes, and we need somebody here to look for it, so get on that. You are a true friend. No talking while you're searching. Now, for everyone else, you will remain in your two teams and we will find treasure! But first, I think it would be a good idea if we go over that hill to show the unity of our fellowship. Why? Because it will symbolize our unity, even though we are breaking our fellowship. Why would we want to do that? It will strengthen our bonds as we... How's bondage gonna help us? In our darkest hour, we will always... But it's daylight. But when something really bad is going down... Like what? The trailer, okay? We're doing it for the trailer! Oh. Okay, line up! Begin epic 